Yeah, hi YouTube. I promised you a video about uh, all the stopping agents. And let's try it. <laughs> you need a laminator. This laminator looks disassembled. Yeah, it is. It has a reason. You need to fit the PCB completely through. And the basic problem with this is... Yeah, take a guess. Um, I looked around for laminators a lot and there's thousands of different kinds of laminators on the market. Problem is, uh, you have to disassemble it um, <coughs> and I had to take away the complete uh, ejection part that was here. I mean, you, you put your laminate in here and it, it gets ejected from the other side. PCP would never have fit through there. So, this is, I hope you can see it, already cut into, into pieces where I can use it. The Bunga Dynamask Solar Stopping Laminate, which, as the name suggests, must now be laminated onto the PCB. And what you also need is, of course, the negative film. That's the film you use to expose laminate because, of course, you have to, after you have um, laminated it on, you have to expose it and all that kind of stuff. But first, let's try to laminate it on before we expose it. And then you have to develop it. And after developing, you have to let it harden out. Okay, those are the basic steps. First, and it's a little, it is a little awkward, I have to admit it. I didn't show it, show it to you the last time. People don't like if I curse. I like could start a little cursing here. I hope you don't mind. Um, the resist is actually caught between it's very thin, and it's caught, uh, caught between two layers of um, foil. Now, I have to remove, and there's, there's, look, so you can see it. There's a shiny side, this, this side is shiny, and there's a matte side. This is matte. And I have to remove the matte foil first, without removing the shiny one. <laughs> and I, there's a little trick to this. I use little duct tape and try to get it. Get one little side off. Uh, ah, working already. Here we go. See? And then don't touch it. Ah, it's, it's very, very, it's very touchy stuff. See, <clears throat> it's really thin, and now you have to put it onto your PCB, such that it doesn't throw off too much bubbles or whatever. PCB must be very clean. Cut it a little too small, I suppose. Okay. I just laid it onto the PCB now. See, see, I must be careful. And now I laminate it. If something goes wrong and then sit this step, like as bubbles or it's distorted, you can always remove it. No problem. Alright then. Oh, let's go. I uh 
and it's very touchy stuff. Very, very touchy stuff. Okay, now it runs through. Yeah. Looks good. You. Here you go. First run through the laminator. It's not really on there. It's very fragile. Still very, very fragile. So, now I touch the back side a lot, which for me means I have to. Best thing is, I would clean it again. I have to make these two videos. I think. Let's get too long. Alcohol. I touched it with my fingers, there's fat on there and that makes trouble. And then of course I have to blow the fossils away. So good, second side, same procedure. And that's also the part where it gets a little hazy because one PCB and two layers of this, that's really a strain for this laminator which is thought to be the, to 125 microns of thickness. It's a little more. Okay, remove the matte side. Got a little practice in that, I suppose, if you have the trick ones, that works quite good. I have it already. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. That's where the cursing comes in. Damn it. Oh, come on. Go off. All right. There we go. And you didn't hurt it. Okay. Touch this like a raw X, and not raw X, more like in. Touch it like something really, really fragile. And put it on. I just lay it onto the PCB. That's why you have to cut it in a way so it leaves you a little corner because if you cut it just the right dimension, you'll never get it on. Okay, second side, again I just laid it onto the PCB, I didn't press it on, bolts it on. This is all done by the laminator. Okay, let's put it through. And once I have it through, and it looks good, hopefully. You do this a, a couple of times with the eliminator. Last time I did this, it was about to, you know, um, once the waltzes of the laminator are, ah, yeah, listen, yeah, it, it hears. But once the laminator is a little conditioned with this material, it works quite good. 
Good, good, come on, come on, come on. Very nicely. Now I put it through again, once each side. Doesn't make much of a difference because it... So. But I put it through two more times. That has one reason, of course. So it is on a little better. Oh, is there air in there? That doesn't look nice. Hmm. Hmm. That's not so nice. Now this could be just crap on the top side, could it? Okay, I suppose so. It was okay when I put it through the first time. I, see? Sometimes you have to give a little give it a little help. <laughs> Okay. One more time. One more time. A last time. And then it's on. Next step is exposing it and developing it. Now since this video is 11 minutes already, we do this in a second video. Alright, thanks for watching and see you soon.